Hi guys. So I've been working on uh, weaving up all my advent yarns, advent calendar yarns. And in the process, I've been doing twisted fringes. So this was the last one I was working on and I have to twist the fringe. It's a, a text message. If you don't know, twisting the fringe can be kind of a pain in the butt, right? Because basically you're spinning it. So you have to twist your strands, twist your one batch of strands, then twist your other bunch of strands. Basically you're spinning yarn, right? You're adding your twist to your singles. And then you ply them together, which gives you this lovely finished fringe. And I like the twisted fringe, but it is kind of a pain in the butt to do it by hand. So I went looking for a fringe twister. You can get them. That is a tool that is made it's relatively easy to find, but it also costs like 80 bucks in Canada anyways. So I was like, I don't know if I'm ready to invest that much right now. But in my searching, I came across hair twisters. This one is called Twist Secret. And I found this one on Amazon for like $15. Okay, you know what? For 15 bucks, I can give it a shot. And it basically does the same thing that a fringe twister does, right? It just twists the hair strands and it's motorized. So here it is. So you have your little holders here. And then you go like this. And it twists the strands. And then you go like this. And it twists them together. And I thought, that should work. <laughs> And for 15 bucks, I'll give it a shot, right? It's battery operated. And I found out I love this stupid little thing. Now, granted, it's noisy, but it works so well. It makes life so much easier. <laughs> so let me give you a quick demonstration. I'll just reset the camera and I will show you twisting a fringe. One second. All right, here's our fringe. Here's our fringe twister. So we just grab two batches. I did a hem stitch, which put them into groups of, I believe, four strands. So it's easiest just to use those two bunches. So we just clip that in there, clip that in there. Um, I have found that sometimes these little clips catch instead of closing which it's not going to do if I want to demonstrate, but just something to watch for. So then I'm just tagging it to get them to the same length. Push the button. So that's adding twist to the strand. When I think there's enough, I just go the other way. Pinch it here. Release the clamps. Tie a knot. Oops, made a mess of that one. There we go. Tie a knot. Done. On to the next one. Did you see how effortless that was? I mean, seriously. I love this stupid little gadget. This stupid little $15 gadget. Now, you can get these uh, braid twisters for... Oh, there. See that one? See how it didn't quite close? So you just kind of have to wiggle it around to make sure that it clamps. I mean, for $15, I'm fine with that. See, didn't close. So we just make sure. Now, you can get braid twisters from brand names for a lot more money. But for what I paid for this,
I am more than happy with the end result. So I can just sit here, watch TV, and effortlessly twist my fringe. And there it is. So that was just a quick little demonstration of this cool little gadget that I found on Amazon. Um, once again, it's called Twist Secret. It's not the highest end tool, but you know what? It does the job for $15. Like seriously, I'm so happy with it. I'll try to find the link to link this in the description down below, but it's going to be to Amazon Canada, so you might have to try to find it on your own country's website, because um, with Prime free shipping on this, it was literally $15. I am thrilled with this purchase. Highly recommend. I have no idea how long it's going to last, but even if it just gets me through this project, still worth the investment. Just thought I'd share this little tidbit with you guys and I will see you next time.